your boy King Brando and what's up Brando fam man this is another review of Grownish yeah episode 12 one more episode to the season finale well next week is the season finale this was the one more episode to the season finale uh, and yeah man this episode was it was okay it was okay it wasn't the best episode uh, one of my least favorites because it was just so much stuff going on that you know it, it was it moved a little too fast for me but i still liked it it was okay uh yeah and a lot of major stuff happened it is now a triple threat cash is back i really thought we were done with him like three people we've never seen like a like a uh you know there's always love triangles there's not love rhombuses because like you know Zoe would be at the top, and then Luca and Aaron would be like right there, and Cash like really at the bottom because he a long shot. That's what I made by love relationship rhombus, love rhombus. Because we see love triangles, it's always two people fighting for that one person, not three people. Uh, but yeah, this was an interesting episode, very fast paced. Uh, went through things swiftly and all that. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go through it. Episode twelve, Crew Love of Grownish review right now. Yeah. Where do we start? I'm gonna try to go through this in one swoop, one little go around, one quick go. Um, it opened with the saddest Drake video ever in my life, which is Zoe's love life. Like, her love life is really the equivalent to a Drake music video. Like, if Marvin's Room was um, a music video, that would be Zoe's life. And not even because, like, the, the song matches her current situation just because it's that depressing. Like, really? Like, like I'm, I, I was thinking, like, in the opening minutes of this episode, like, God, Lee, Zoe, get a grip. Get a grip. You really look thirsty. You really look thirsty. But, I mean, can you blame her? Because her friend is... You know, she 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 had a dude now, and Zoe was the one who had a dude in the group. She was the one with the stability, and now she does not have that. Now, the twins have it. Well, the twin uh, has it, and yeah, she feel kind of a little left out. So this episode was basically about her confronting. Well, not even her confronting her feelings, her hinting at her feelings for both of the dudes, Luca and Aaron. Um, but before we get to that, we got to talk about how. Um, how actually they're a thing now. Uh, you know how last week we speculated that uh, Sky and Doug was a thing. Sky and Diggy, whatever, um, were a thing. They are a thing now, okay? Um, and yeah, that was basically how it introed. Like them saying that they're together. And the reason how they knew they were together was that he left baby wipes for her. I never knew that leaving baby wipes was the equivalent to saying we're together. I never knew that. Like, I, I might have to take a little notes, you know, next time, leave a baby wipe, and then she'll know, like, we're together, okay? I guess, um, and yeah, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. So, uh, after Zoe felt jealous because, you know, somebody else in the group has a relationship, she decided to test it out to see which one liked her, which one was gonna admit their love for her or whatever, like for her, feelings for her, whatever, um, so she started with Luca, which I, I thought was a really bad idea because he's like the little, you know, anonymous, the, the, the in the shadows lurking, like never really talking about his feelings, dude. I didn't think he was going to uh, say anything, which he did not in the beginning. Uh, he just kept it business friendly, I'm going to say that. Um, he said that he would design Zoe's dress and, you know, the dress was decent, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, he said that he would design Zoe's dress, and Zoe was hinting at it the whole time, like, you know, how do you feel about me? Because she was talking about getting everybody's stuff and getting, uh, what's the name, uh, something. So the way she looks good in front of her boo, her boyfriend now, she was like, you know, don't that sound good? He was like, you know, I, um, I, I don't really care. That was basically the move he was giving off, like, I don't care. Um, and she's like, you know feeling down or whatever so next she tries Aaron uh, there he's in there playing video games or whatever she walks in they're talking and then Aaron does like he does all the time all the time every time and then he friend zones her in front of people like dude like if you like her bro do not friend zone her every time somebody else comes around because when y'all do start going together like if she do that to you you are gonna feel really bad and uh yeah and like, don't, don't do that now, like, if you like a teller, which we're going to get to that at the, at the end, because at the end, I'm like, bro, 
way to pick up the situation, way to turn the situation into a good thing. Uh, yeah, and next what happened is uh, we go to the dance. Well, not to the dance. They're prepping for the dance. And they're doing uh, their makeup or whatever, getting dressed, whatever. Uh, and they did a Never Have I Ever. This, this part of the episode was really the only other storyline because it was just Zoe and her feelings and then this was the only little thing so I'm just gonna tell y'all that storyline right now so we can end it with uh the rest of Zoe's stuff so basically we figure out that Anna you know even though she's like a lunatic uh she has done nothing she has not done drugs uh done anything really uh never skinny dip whatever all that stuff is and it was like you know never have I ever kissed a girl and then she was the only one who didn't like her, her and Zoe were the only ones who, you know, haven't kissed a girl. And then she felt some type of way about it. So, basically what ended up happening, she got sloppy drunk at the uh, dance. And then she tried to kiss Nomi. Nomi was like, uh-uh, I ain't your little pawn, I ain't your little experiment, uh, whatever. And then she like, you know, I, I just I just figured if it was going to be anybody, it was going to be her because they was close. Uh, she ended up vomiting in the tree. Uh, almost got caught by Dean Parker. Uh, but... Nomi came in for the win. We all need friends like Nomi that when we get trash, they will get us out of trouble. They will get us out of trouble. Um, that was good to see. Uh, what else happened with this thing? Yeah, Nomi actually kissed her. She actually kissed her. So now, Anna kissed a girl and she liked it. Ooh, Katy Perry lyrics. Uh, yeah, so now she has done everything that they've done basically and now she's feeling included and the funniest part of this episode was when she was like um when Anna was like you you helped me or whatever like you helped me uh when I got drunk and I threw up and all that and she was like you're a better person than Zoe and then Nomi was like yeah I am a better person I was dead I was dead that was the only really comedy that was really in this show was like between them because nothing else was really funny other than like uh Aaron being a dummy and uh, Zoe being like very, very thirsty. She was thirsty. Thirsty Zoe. Uh, and now, to the part that you've all been waiting for. It's a love rhombus. A love rhombus. Well, we're going to get to the rhombus part at the end, end. But like, really? So basically, they go to... Oh, I, missed, I'm, I left out a major point. Um, when Luca gave her the dress. She was saying, like, you know, are you going to go with me? I thought we was going to go together. You said we was going to tear it up together. But they did not, he did not think that. He does not like dances. He thought that it was going to be trash. He wasn't going to go. But he went. And it was just like, mm. So, basically, Zoe goes out with her girls after both of them kind of reject her or whatever. Uh, you know, we, this is not going to last long. But uh, she went to the party, uh, to the dance, to the formal. She turned up with her girl. She had fun. They was tea. They was doing all that. They were dancing and all that. Um, and then Charlie went to go get his whatever from wherever. Um, and then Zoe went outside because Aaron texted her. He was like, come outside, Zoe. I want to talk to you about the love things he didn't text her that he just said come outside uh and when she came outside he did the thing he see i knew i knew i knew you've grown once you did this once you told her you was like you know it's pretty cold outside take my jacket she, i'm like you know what hey, are you coming in for the kill you're coming in at perfect timing uh and so basically he confesses all his feelings to her and I'm like, dude, this you did this you could have did this like four episodes ago. You really could have did this four episodes ago. Um and yeah, after he tells her how he feels and after he is like, you know, open with her or whatever, all that mushy stuff, I um She's like, you know, I don't know how to feel. I need time to feel time to think and all that and cause he was like, you know, I like you. That was the I'm sorry, that was the dumbest thing that happened in the episode. He was like, I like you. She was like, okay. He was like, I like you, like you. Like, really, really, you could have came up with some better stuff to say than that. I like you, like you. Like, dude, like, th th this was your opportunity to turn up with some notebook type material. Like, you, you really need to do your research first on what happens when they finally get the girl. But I guess that's coming next episode. Cause I don't know, man, I don't know. All oh, right now, while I'm, while I'm on the subject, Put who you think is going to get Zoe. They could swerve us all. They could swerve us all. But, uh, yeah, I feel like you, you, you should have came harder than that. Uh, but 
once he was finished confessing his love for her, Zoe came to walk back to the dance. And there we see, well, she still had his jacket on. Uh, still with Aaron's jacket on, she walks back to the uh, party, the formal, whatever. And there we see Luca. We see Luca at the formal in a tux, ready, ready, dapper down. And he's like, you know, dang, man. Since she with him, she had a little backup backup plan. She had, uh, she had a plan B, okay, for if he didn't uh, like her. And then she's like, you know, no, it does not how it went. He just told her how he felt, and then now she don't know what to feel, and that she didn't know if he liked her. And then she was like, well, now you know. So now she got two people who want her now, and I'm like, dang, man. Oh, Luca finna, Luca finna get her. I think Luca finna get her uh, until. The very last part of the episode, like that, I was like, I was really mad. I was mad. I'm like, really, really. If you don't know, here's what I've been waiting to tell you. Cash is back. Cash is back. Like, really, you chose to come back right now, right now. Now it's a love rhombus. It's a love rhombus. He's the long shot. Aaron and Luca and then Zoe at the top. This the, when they fighting for. They can serve us all and have her go with Cash. I mean, if you think about it, he has the brightest future, you know, but I feel like if she would go with him now, and it kind of be for like, you know, I ain't gonna say she had gold or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, you know, it wouldn't look too good on her. Uh, yeah, so we have Cash, which is the safe option. Uh, we have Luca, which is the the terrible option, because dude, dude don't got no feelings at all. He he cold out here in these streets with these females. I'm, I feel you though, bro, uh, which I think he gonna get her. I don't care. I think he gonna get her. I think Aaron's time is in season two. Season two. Since they got renewed, I think Aaron's time is in season two. Or, like, once they get together, they gonna break up. Then she gonna go with Luca. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think if they wanted to do anything with Cash, that would have to come years down the line. Or, like, seasons down the line. Like, on season three, season four, where you give us enough time to forget about him. Then he comes back. Yeah. Uh, I think... Cash is the long shot, but they could swerve us all and go with him. He has like a 5% chance. I think um, the rest of whatever, the 95% is split between Luca and Aaron. I think Aaron, I think you should, I think they should wait until the second season. Let me know what y'all think Zoe's so gonna choose. Let me know who y'all think she's gonna choose. Is it gonna be Aaron? Is it gonna be Luca? Is it gonna be Cash? Is they gonna swerve us all and it's gonna be Cash? No one knows. Uh, yeah. But it's been your boy King Brando. If you're new to the channel, do this thing called the three clicks. Easiest thing in your life. Easiest thing you're gonna do ever, ever, ever. You just gotta like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notifications. Easiest thing you're ever gonna do in your life. Like, please just do that. Help a brother out. Help me. Help you. All of that stuff. And if you're returning to the channel, you already know what to do. Like the video. Comment other stuff you want me to react to or review. It's been your boy King Brando. Who will Zoe choose? Huh? I'm titling this. It's a triple threat. What? Should I title it that? I'm either titling it. It's a triple threat or. Nomi kissed the. I mean not. Yeah, not Nomi. Anna kissed the girl and she liked it. Uh, either one is okay. It's been your boy King Brando. Peace.